podcast is gentleman Dean Alejandro here, and we are going to be talking about outing while also introducing September's binder giveaway. Now, for those of you that are new here, I do a binder giveaway every month. It's sponsored by GC2B. Shout out to GC2B for being so awesome. And we have done it every month since January. Um, and basically what's happening is we are giving away two binders, any size, any color. You can get your choice of the half or full. And it's available for worldwide shipping, completely free. Um, there might be some taxes if it's in a different country. And of course, there might be some shipping delays because of COVID-19. Um, but GC2B is still doing a great job getting all those out there. Um, so I mentioned last week that I wanted to touch up on a certain subject. And I'm just going to give my whole candid like experience like I kind of do. Um, so I can't believe I'm really even having to post this, honestly, because I feel like outing a trans person um, is common sense. But I guess sometimes people get excited or maybe they don't realize how severe it is. Um, and it's a little bit different depending on if you're out to your family, if you're out to your job, if you're out in everyday life, or if you're out on social media. Especially considering that anything that you put on the internet, anyone can access. And once you put it up there, even if you delete it, it's still pretty much up there. So um, sometimes we you know, forget about these things and it kind of goes through the grapevine and people can find your social media or kind of can figure it out by then um, and either suspect it or realize that you are trans and decide to spread that knowledge. I'm going to focus more on the social media aspect because obviously I have a platform and that's been my experience. So about a year and a half ago, some of you may remember that I was outed through a background check from a job. Um, and I got really in depth with that and was actually going to take it to court. And to make a long story short, I decided not to because I didn't want the visibility locally in town since I had just moved here. Now, basically, when I had gone through a bunch of meetings with them, someone had mentioned this page and that because I was out on social media, anyone was able to talk about it and it's their business. Now, to make all that short, no. Um, it is not anyone's business, even if you know I'm on social media and you know I have a platform. It's still my story to tell, um, and it's not your business really to expose my medical history without my consent. Even the even though I'm visible um, for everyone, you know, take it with a grain of salt. It's still not your business to go and spread. Now, with that being said. Um, no one had access to the page at the time. So it was just kind of like a cop out, which most of my experiences have been. Uh, it seems to be everyone who outs me uh, decides, oh, well, you're a social media icon, which I don't even think that's literally someone's words uh, verbatim. So they were bound to find out anyways. It was their business anyways. And, you know, nowadays it's really complicated. Um, because a lot of people do not realize the severity of outing a trans person. Uh, trans people every day are targeted. We are harassed. We are physically harassed. We are threatened. Me personally, for the past month, I have been physically and verbally harassed and threatened um, by nearby towns, which I won't get into. But it happens every day. We are targeted. We are murdered. And it's not safe. We are allowed to get fired from our jobs. We are allowed to get evicted just by being who we are and, you know, kind of embracing that, which is fucked up. Um, in some places, they have also kind of instated um, an outing bill, I guess, where basically it's illegal uh, to out a trans person. And I say that with quotations because reaching out to ACLU, reaching out to a bunch of different places... You can't really get anything done now. Um, so it's like we're having these protections, but for what? Even though they say you're protected from being outed, there's still this weird stigma with it. Um, and so with that being said, and I'm kind of connecting all of these together, that if you are online and you out someone, if you find out that someone's trans, doesn't matter who it is, and you decide... I'm going to post about it on my personal page, my personal platform, which I say platform as a personal page. And it's a public page, whether it's Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Um, and you kind of say, hey, this person is trans and hey, blah, 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 blah. You are then outing me. That is not okay. Uh, anything that you put online is, like I said, 
public. And nowadays, social media is so popular that a lot of our jobs like to watch everything. A lot of our jobs have pre-filtered tags, um, especially the bigger companies. So, you know, they hire people specifically to search on social media for different things. Now, we just so happen to be in a fork in a road with a weird political thing and a bunch of other shit with equality and a bunch of shit going on right now. So, especially with Pride Month, a lot of companies don't like to see their employees harassing people or outing people or doing things like that especially in jobs when you're supposed to like service other people um they the companies really don't like that and so there's kind of some shit like right now that i really just wanted to like let you know that it is not your job to out any trans person whether you're a family member whether you're a fellow and like you work with them whether you go to school with them, it is only that person's job, not even job to tell you if they want to even tell you if they want to disclose that, but they completely don't have to. And realistically, no one owes anyone anything. Um, I can be completely stealth if I wanted to. And it just for someone to out me or something and then try to say, oh, well, because it's out on the internet, then it's okay. Well, because you outed me on the internet, then it's kind of inevitable for your jobs and your friends and all of these other people to kind of see that you're a piece of shit. Um, and I've kind of noticed this happening from a lot of allies in the community and a lot of other people. So this video might be a little redundant, but I just kind of wanted to say again, do not out anyone. It is not your business, whether they are trans or non-binary. What's in our pants is none of your business, unless I decide to tell you personally. Now, getting into the binder giveaway, um, what we're going to go ahead and do is if you want to be eligible for this giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to this YouTube channel. Make sure you press the bell for alerts. Take a screenshot. Then make sure you're subscribed to my Instagram account and also take a screenshot and send that to me on whatever platform is easier for you. Now, if you want five extra entries, all you have to do is share this video um, on any form of social media that you'd like to. Please screenshot it so that way you get like all of the entries. It's really hard to keep track um, with a lot of people and all of that. So when you're done with that, just comment here and say that you're done. Um, and I will see you next week.